Hi all and welcome to this orientation to the inventory page of Ecamm. In this orientation, I will talk first about how the inventory is structured into stages and substages, then go into inputs and outputs and a few features around them, talk briefly about highlight mode, and then finally about how to access more detailed information about the inputs and outputs. The inventory is organized into two general sections, water supply and sanitation. There is some general information that you can enter at the water supply and also at the sanitation level um, about population and energy costs. This Information can give some context to your assessment. It's not used directly for calculating GHG emissions, but if you know it, it might make your assessment more meaningful to enter information here. Then water supply and sanitation are each broken down into the stages that you can see here. To enter information about the stages, you actually have to create substages. So for example, if we want to enter information about the treatment of wastewater, then we create a treatment substage. When we're in the substage, this is where the majority of information can be entered. So, so you can go ahead and start entering the data that you have there. You can also show outputs immediately, which then lets you see the results as you go. For example, if we enter some energy consumed from the grid and also an emission factor, then we can already see that the outputs start changing. There's also the option to change the units of the outputs here. You can create as many substages as you'd like or also only one substage. So if there's only one treatment process that you'd like to evaluate, then that's fine. Another helpful tool is highlight mode. Highlight mode lets you use these codes here just to show how the inputs and outputs are connected. So that's helpful if you're trying to understand a bit more what the data that you're entering is changing about the assessment. If you click on these codes, so for now I was just putting my cursor over it, if you click into these codes, then you can get more detailed information about the factor that you are entering or, or, or the output. What I find helpful here is that you can then navigate through the other inputs and outputs directly from this table. You can also look at the formula itself and other information that's associated with that factor. I hope this has been a helpful orientation to the inventory page and make sure to look at other videos if you have more questions.